New at 11, it's been nearly a year since L.A. County purchased the gas company tower to house thousands of county employees. But there are questions now about whether this aging downtown L.A. skyscraper can survive a big quake. The building, built in 1991, needs retrofitting, but as Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter explains, the cost to bring the tower up to current earthquake standards is over $200 million. The county bought this high rise here in tight fiscal times to move in numerous departments. The question now is how much are they willing to spend to retrofit the building before the big one hits? The gas company tower is a modern architectural landmark and an iconic part of the LA skyline. It is also one of the city's tallest buildings at risk of substantial damage in a major quake. And it is a major concern for Los Angeles County. The building has high risk because of the type of construction it has. Its failure mode includes collapse. The county now awaiting seismic analysis as it considers the cost of retrofitting the high rise to current top level earthquake standards, estimated at around $297 million. The county CEO says the gas company tower currently meets all city and county seismic codes. Yes, the cost is high, but it's also important to understand um, how much is it going to cost us to do repairs after an earthquake. Maria Mohammed, president of the Structural Engineers Association of Southern California, says retrofitting the skyscraper, which was built in 1991 with what's called a steel moment frame, is needed. During the devastating 6.7 magnitude Northridge earthquake, several buildings constructed using steel moment frames suffered extensive damage. With fears growing with each passing year that the big one could hit soon, many worry it could cost the county even more money in the long run if the high rise isn't retrofit to withstand the shaking, especially since it will be housing vital county offices. For essential buildings, when we retrofit them, we retrofit them so that not only do they not collapse during the earthquake, but they can also be reoccupied and stay operational after the earthquake. No word on when the seismic report will be finished or when the county will decide on retrofitting the building. In downtown Los Angeles, Lee Hyun Suter, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.